Quix Dynamic Pages Tutorial for Beginners. Hello everybody, in this video I'll show you guys how you can get started with dynamic pages on Wix because when you're creating a Wix website you want to bring it to life and you can do that by creating dynamic pages. So what do we mean when we refer to dynamic pages and how can you create them? Now, dynamic pages specifically mean when you are creating a page that is going to derive its data from a dynamic source or from a changeable source. So, for example, if I have services that I'm offering or if I have products that I'm selling, those are going to be entered in a dynamic page. Now, if I add them on the back end of my Wix site and I add different product or different services and I'm selling those, those would be displayed however I add them and I might change the product or change the service, but the display on my Wix website is going to change accordingly to its data source. So let's proceed with adding our dynamic pages. Firstly, I'm going to click on design site to get started with designing my Wix site. Now, dynamic pages are not too different from any regular page. They just take data from a source that you might input, which is a variable source. So a dynamic page could also be something like your contact page, where if your contact info changes, you're going to change that, and it would automatically be updated in the contact section. Now, to create such a page, you can go into pages and menus over here, and you can create a separate page. However, dynamic elements can be a part of any pre-existing page that is present. So, if you take a look at your CMS over here on the bottom left, you're going to click on Add to Site and add a CMS. Now, what is the purpose of a CMS? That is to set up your dynamic content. If your dynamic content is not related to retail, using a central management system or CMS can be the best way to add your dynamic content. Now you have two options here. You can start with a preset, use a pre-designed layout to display your project services listings or start by adding your own content in a collection. Now, I'm going to start with a preset so it's easier for you guys to follow along. Now, in this, you will see different types of presets available. I have a preset for projects, services, recipes, portfolios, latest news, courses, job listings, team members, and more. Now, for me, I want to add something like services. So, I will click on add to site on the right side. This will create the service section CMS and I can then customize these services and add my own. And when I alter a service, let's say I'm providing uh, manicures right now, but maybe I want to discontinue manicures after some time. So I can then remove that and it would automatically be removed. You will see that the CMS will directly be displayed in front of you. I have all the titles and the prices, images, durations, service descriptions, service items on this section. However, if you want, you can scroll ahead and click on add field to add further detail about your service or your dynamic info. I'm going to leave this as it is and I'll show you guys what the pages are going to look like. So these are our service pages now. We have different services and people can click on read more to gather more info. To edit these pages, you can click on the left panel over here and then click on dynamic pages. You can view the services in a itemized list or a service list. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to click on publish on the top right. But you might be asking, hey, you didn't add your own services. I'll show you guys the easier way to do this. So once you have uh, saved your changes, you're going to go into the bottom uh, you're going to go into the top left and then click on go to dashboard once you go into your wix dashboard you're going to see this is going, going to be your standard dashboard and on the left you will have a section where you're going to be able to set up your cms so right under settings on the bottom left you're going to find your cms click on this section and once you do click on your services now, from here, you can edit all of your services. So I'll add maybe um, eyelash extensions, acrylic nails, 
gel nails and then let's say these are only the three services i want to add and now i'm going to clear the rest of the rows so we're going to go back ahead into our cms and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these three services and then click on delete because i only want to add three now i can do price adjustments so let's say all of my services cost sixty dollars i'm just going to add that price like so and you can add your own pricing let's say this is 70 and gel nails are 50 dollars like that now after that we also have images if you don't want to include images in your dynamic pages you can just click on this column on the top and then click on delete i'm going to leave the images as they are but i don't want to add a duration so for that i will click on the top right and then click on delete then i can click on yes delete field and now i can delete that now i have a service description so i will just use ai to do that and i will remove this first and then i will ask, ask it to write about lash extensions like this and the ai can generate our filler content now i can just click on insert to insert the service description acrylic nails and now i can just ask the ai to write content and now the ai is writing i will click on insert below now after that i can add more placeholder text for my services this is totally up to you so i'll just add let's have to remove this section first and i'll click on over here lash extensions like this i'm waiting for it to write about and i'll just insert that now i can just leave this as it is and i can add other placeholder text as well Moving on, we also have the services subpages. Now, this is a dynamic URL, and the URL structure is going to be for each service when it is clicked. You can click on add field to add your own customized field, including timings, audio, documents, media, numbers, tags, or any other content. Now, if we go back into our Wix website editor, the information will automatically be displayed, and I don't have to manually edit the website every time I want to edit the services. So if I show you guys our website over here, and if we lead to our dynamic pages, we should be able to see our new services be automatically displayed and you can do this for services product or any other thing that that is totally up to your personal preference but here is our service page right now so you guys will see this is our service list and it says lash extension gel nails acrylic nails like so so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe.